The United Kingdom is all set to get a new Prime Minister and the contenders for the, for the post went head to head for the second time in a televised debate. The five conservative candidates who are still vying to be the Britain's next press Prime Minister clashed over tax cuts and rising global temperatures in an hour-long debate on Sunday. Apart from this, the two frontrunners, former Chancellor Rishi Sunak and UK Foreign Secretary Liz Truss, further stepped up their battle on the economy. The exchanges on taxation and spending are particularly robust. The remaining four contenders attacking Sunak for his tax rises, in retaliation to the, which the former Chancellor criticised UK Foreign Secretary Lee Strauss and Trade Minister Penny Mordant for fantasy economies of unfunded promises. I'd love to stand here and say, look, I'll cut this tax, that tax and another tax, and it will all be OK. But you know what? It won't. There's a cost to these things, the cost of higher inflation, higher mortgage rates, eroded savings. And you know what? This something for nothing economics isn't conservative. Uh, it's uh, socialism. Rishi Sunak father addressed criticism over his wife's family's wealth and asserted on how he was incredibly proud of what her family has built. Look, there, there is commentary about my wife's family's wealth. And so let me just address that head on because I think it's worth doing because I'm actually incredibly proud of what my parents-in-law built. Sunak, who has emerged as the favourite so far, outlined on how there would be a cost to cutting taxes which could risk Britons incurring high inflation. However, UK Foreign Secretary Lee Strauss is in response said that Britain was heading towards a recession because of Sunak's tax increases during his time as a finance minister. Under your plans, we are predicted to have a recession because you have raised tax, it is cutting back on growth, it is preventing companies from investing, and it's taking money out of people's pockets. Meanwhile, one aspect where all the five contenders found a common ground was when they were asked if they would be happy to have Boris Johnson serve in their cabinet. All five candidates failed to raise their hands. If he wished to serve, who here would be happy to have Boris Johnson in their cabinet? Please raise your hands. If he wished to serve, would you have Boris Johnson in your cabinet if you were PM? Not a single person. Apart from Sunak and Liz Truss, former Equalities Minister Kemi Badenok and Minister of State Penny Mordant clashed over gender rights. According to a survey of party members for the Conservative Home website, former Equalities Minister Kemi Badenok was now ahead of the others, with Truss in second and Modant, currently the bookmaker's favourite, slipping to third. However, with no clear candidate to succeed Boris Johnson, who is stepping down after a series of scandals, the battle to be the next leader remains unpredictable and increasingly fractious, with a third round of voting set for today. But we have been out there on the front line, making the case for why we have done I've been on the front line not in Afghanistan. Not in we On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.